Hi everyone, this is Tiffany and I'm going to show you today how to paint um, with Inktense pencils on a calico pencil case. I began by doing the outline with the outliner pencil um, and that actually disappears when you use water on it. Now as you can see I'm doing some bumblebees. Um, not in my usual style, but in my rainbow animal style. So they are not going to be normal colours because I want to show you how brilliant the ink tense colour is. Um, now you can see from, from what I'm doing there is I've got very light colours to start with. So I've picked out my, my base colour. Um, you don't need to press hard because as soon as the water um, gets on the ink tense pencil, it activates it and actually makes it... It's lots, a lot bolder, which is brilliant. Once the colour is down, um, it is permanent, uh, which is absolutely great as well. So, as you can see, I'm layering different colours on top of each other. So I've got the yellow there. Um, I'm not pressing too hard. Um, it probably looks like I am. And then using um, an orange one afterwards, I'm just causing, just creating a little bit of shadow, just so we can see the shape of the cute little bumblebee. Um, in between, so to protect the back of the pencil case, I've popped just a little bit of card in between so uh, the ink doesn't go through to the other side of the pencil case, so I can do the other side as well. Um, as you can see, I've got the blue there. So the variety of blues I've got um, are the dark aquamarine, lapis blue, dark cerulean, and blending all of those together along with some greens, um, which is actually mint leaf, which is a lovely colour. Um, what I'm using there is a water pen, uh, again from Derwent, and basically it's a loaded brush of water in the reservoir, as you can see. Uh, you sort of squeeze it a little bit and the water comes out, which is very handy indeed. Um, so I'm using that to blend all the ink tents pencils um, now the pencils just look like a normal pencil, um, but they have a, a say an innovative formulation that acts like ink, um, and it just brings you some really intense, vibrant colours. Um, they don't wash out. Um, you've got to, if you do want to wash your case or your bag or whatever, a t-shirt even, um, just recommend that you do it hand washing or thirty degrees with no excessive detergents. Um, so you can see I'm having quite a lot of fun here, layering all the colours, making him very jolly indeed. Because um, with my rainbow animals, I like to um, include every single colour I possibly can. Um, as I say, it's not a nature drawing. It's definitely more creative and imaginative and definitely fun. Um, so you can see he's doing his little bottom there with a bit of purple um, and a little bit of amethyst. So the box I'm using is their 100 range, which are three layers of 8mm um, barrel pencils. Um, I say it's, got water, it's all water soluble um, and you can use it on ceramics, um, t-shirt material, like I said, canvases even. So it's almost really like a paint um, as well as a pencil, which is absolutely great. So it's very, very versatile. Um, so now I'm moving on to the wings. Um, so again, lightly um, drawn to start with, just like a brush stroke really. And then obviously using the uh, water brush, I'm then going over all the layers, just blending them all together. And then you can see how the colour suddenly intensifies and blends together really nicely. Um, and again, doing the back wing there as well. Um, what I really like to do is actually, because I absolutely love my colour and I like strong colour, is actually going over wet on wet, as you can see I'm doing now. So I'm going back to the original blue colour and just building up that blue on the wings just to make it even more intense, hence the word of their brand, ink tense. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. Like I keep saying, and I must stop repeating myself. <laughs> there we go, there's a little smiley bumblebee all of a sudden. There we go. Let's have some legs as well. But again, he's not real. 
So working alongside the 100 pencils, um, they also have um, Intense Paints, which is like a, a paint palette with little blocks, just like a watercolour palette. Um, they work, again, exactly the same way. Um, we also have Intense Blocks, which look like pastels, like oil pastels. Again, you get really quite fabulous marks um, and mark making out of that. You can also um, buy a grater like a cheese grater and you can grate up uh, the ink tents and make paint um, and then slosh it straight on whatever surface you want to do on. Um, another way of using it is that you could use a watercolour water spritzer so if you want to get some textures and splatter and so forth on your work um, you can maybe dribble some of the shavings over the paper and then spray it with a spritzer. You get some really interesting effects. It's lots of fun. So here I am working on the second bumblebee. Again, layering up, working wet on wet a lot of the time with here just to get that extra depth. It's also quite fun to blend um, wet on wet lots of different colours. Um, so there I've just done the red, the orange and the yellow, put the paintbrush over it and then did it again just to get the intensity of colour.
So now we're finishing the wings with some purple um, and then making it deeper by using the water and then going over it wet on wet. And a nice little face, which we call him Bob, Bob the Bumblebee. And he's got some legs now, so that's nice. Um, if you can see behind the bumblebee, I've done some swirly lines. Um, now that's based on a star that I also do as well as rainbow animals that I call fractured. And the aim of it is to make make it look like the bumblebees are moving. And so whenever they bumble about, um, they I, I try and have a swoop. So as you can see now, I'm just doing a little bit of an extra colour on the lines. Um, and I call it fracturing. But bumblebees are a lot softer than that, aren't they? So anyway, so yeah, here we go. So I'm imagining the bumblebee bumbling off into the distance and it just separates up the drawing a little bit. Um, so after this, I'm actually going to uh, blend different colours. But first of all, I think what we should do is maybe have some text on it. And of course, the text I've chosen is, of course, be happy, because we need to be, don't we? So we've got some nice rainbow bumblebees. And then in your pencil case, every time you pick out your pencils, it's going to tell you to be happy, which might end up being annoying or what. Anyway, so the bee I've got in uh, purple and then I'm going for a darker green for the happy. So again, I'm sort of pushing down a little bit hard because I really want these to stand out um so see I'm going over it twice there and then we're going to add the water So once again, um, I've say drawn the words be happy and then wetted it um, and then gone over with it again, wet on wet. Um, now I felt like these two little bees were quite happy together. So I've got them a little heart in the corner. Um, why not? Again, we're going red, orange and yellow with this one. So they are hot red, mango and lemon. So blended the three of those, not too hard, as I say, and then blending it with the uh, brush watercolour.
So to add to my swirly lines of the bumblebees movement, um, I am now separating each part, blending up three blues. Um, so Malibu, that'd be nice to go there, wouldn't it? Uh, lapis blue, dark aquamarine. So it takes a while to blend these together, um, just so I, like, I really like it nice and smooth. So all the the areas are light and dark, light and dark. So I'm getting um, almost like a stained glass effect, really. Um, so again, blending them and then using the um, push button water brushes, which I, I really love. And then when everything starts to uh, sort of come together, I notice, say, lines need to come off somewhere to make it flow a bit more. So I've just added that horizontal one there, going from left to right um, and then separating it. So just using it dry at the minute, just to get all those colours in place and the shaded areas next to the lighter areas. Um, and then, as I say, after that, I shall blend it all with the watercolour brush. There we go, another line coming off the mouth of the bumblebee because it's sort of okay, just going in, in that direction.
So I hope you enjoyed all seeing the blending. Still doing it now, so it's getting nice and soft. So we want light to dark, really soft and blended. Um, I don't really want to see any pencil marks, which is obviously where the water brush then comes in. Um, so once again, just to remind you that this is permanent. So it's, it is an ink, it's not a watercolour. The colours are intense and increase with intensity once you wet the ink. They're very portable, as you'd imagine, so they're really, really good for going on holiday with. Um, and you can either, you know, you can use them without water if you really want to. Um, but I obviously love my colour, so really love using it wet um, just to bring out that, that intensity. And as you can see, I'm, <laughs> I'm adding more colour and more colour and more colour to get that depth. So I will leave you for the last few minutes just to enjoy uh, the last of the pencil case design. Um, thanks for watching.